Silent Weapons for Quiet Wars. An Introduction Programming Manual. Application in Economics. To use this method of airframe shock testing in economic engineering, the prices of commodities are shocked and the public consumer reaction is monitored. The resulting echoes of the economic shock are interpreted theoretically by computers and the psychoeconomic structure of the economy is thus discovered. It is by this process that partial differential and difference matrices are discovered that define the family household and make possible its evaluation as an economic industry, dissipative consumer structure. Then the response of the household to future shocks can be predicted and manipulated and society becomes a well-regulated animal with its reins under the control of a sophisticated computer-regulated social energy bookkeeping system. Eventually, every individual element of the structure comes under computer control through a knowledge of personal preferences. Such knowledge guaranteed by Computer Association of Consumer Preferences or Universal Product Codes, UPC, the zebra-striped pricing codes on packages. With identified consumers, identified via association with the use of a credit card and later a permanent tattooed body number invisible under normal ambient illumination. Summary. Economics is only a social extension of a natural energy system. It also has its three passive components. Because of the distribution of wealth, and the lack of communication and lack of data, this field has been the last energy field for which a knowledge of these three passive components has been developed. Since energy is the key to all activity on the face of the earth, it follows that in order to attain a monopoly of energy, raw materials, goods and services, and to establish a world system of slave labor, it is necessary to have a first strike capability in the field of economics. In order to maintain our position, it is necessary that we have absolute first knowledge of the science of control over all economic factors and the first experience at engineering the world economy. In order to achieve such sovereignty, we must at least achieve this one end, that the public will not make either the logical or mathematical connection between economics and the other energy sciences or learn to apply such knowledge. This is becoming increasingly difficult to control because more and more businesses are making demands upon their computer programmers to create and apply mathematical models for the management of those businesses. It is only a matter of time before the new breed of private programmer slash economists will catch on to the far-reaching implications of the work begun at Harvard in 1948. The speed with which they can communicate their warning to the public will largely depend upon how effective we have been at controlling the media, subverting education, and keeping the public distracted with matters of no real importance. <laughs>